I'm excited to be in Vegas because I'm getting older. I'm 41. And nobody told me that, like, when you get older, it's the fucking shit. Like, now, I got good health insurance and money for bail. Let's fucking go. Like, are you kidding me? I'm fucking ready. <laughs> I, uh, you know, like, as I get older, you know that saying, when you know better, you should do better. You know, so I'm doing my part for the planet. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not gonna have a planet, but like, hypothetically speaking, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hypothetically speaking, better late than never, right? But I wanted to do my part for the planet, and I thought a good entry point was I'm gonna start recycling. That feels easy. It feels like I can do my part. But I started recycling the makeup on my face. I don't know. Because my motto is, tonight's eyeliner is tomorrow's smoky eye. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So I that for you ladies. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sir, you looked at your beautiful lady and was like, what the fuck is a smoky eye? That's fair. <laughs> Let me explain. Let me see how I can explain it to you. So a smoky eye is like, let's just say hypothetically speaking, your girlfriend has a full face of makeup on and you go back to your room and she like gives you a blow job. That's basically what she'll look like when she looks at you, you know what I mean? From the tears mixing with the eyeliner, we get it? <laughs> and all you ladies not laughing right now, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you don't know how to suck dick. Sorry! <laughs> sorry, you don't know how to suck dick. Um, you, know, you know you're good at sucking dick if you cry a little, that's how you know. You gotta cry a little bit to, Make sure you're doing a good job. Look at this guy, he's like, honey, she's funny. She's good at this. <laughs> and ladies, listen, don't, don't get quiet on me. Men are so fucking stupid. If you know how to suck good dick, you can get anything you want from them. Like a tennis bracelet, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, it's not hard, it's, it's very easy. I'm convinced that if women in Texas were sucking dick, I could go get an abortion right now, you know what I mean? That's all we need. I should, be, I should be a politician, suck dick for change, you know what I mean? Like, men are dumb. We want equal pay, deep throat, you know what I mean? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> I like getting older. Uh, I grew up really athletic, and as I get older, I'm like, I gotta keep working out, you know, because I want to be able to, like, go upstairs and not have my friends look at me and be like, you okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> you all right? It's embarrassing, I don't wanna do that, but I did start working out, but let me make one fucking thing clear right now. I'm not working out to get skinny. I love being a thick bitch. I love this, I love this, I love my fupa. <laughs> like, she's, she's my best friend, honestly. Like, I love her so much. Not only is she adorable, but she's functional, okay? I'm from Minnesota, it gets cold, and if my fingertips get a little cold, I forgot my gloves, I just pop them under there, I call it my footins, my fupa mittens. It's so warm, you know? If I'm driving from state to state doing comedy and I got some weed on me and I get pulled over, I can totally like pop a little dime bag under there. <laughs> you know, for security. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I could totally get an eighth, you know, just like, like what's the cop gonna do? What's the cop gonna do, lift my fupa and weed's just gonna come falling out? He's not gonna do that. It's safe and sound under there. It's safe for you. The white girls, put your coke in there. They're never gonna find it. We'll never know. Also, like, if I'm with a guy and he's like eating me out and he's like, oh, my neck hurts, I'm gonna take a little break. I can just go, no, no, no. I got you a pillow right here. You don't even need to go far than I hold his fucking head down. Just like, just, just stay there. <laughs> look, 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 look at all skinny bitches like, hmm. <laughs> My boyfriend never eats my pussy for a long time. Yeah, bitch, because it's like he's knocking his head against the wall. Get you a fupa, bitch, eat some McDonald's, stop it. Stop doing CrossFit all the fucking time. Get you a fupa, help you help him help you. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't think that's true, knock your head against the wall, see how you like it. That's why you're not coming in his mouth. It's a late night show, we can talk about it. It's a late night show. <laughs> We're having fun. Another good thing about uh, getting older is like I have good credit and I recently got a new car, which is fun. Okay. 
I didn't have a choice. Uh, was I had a 2014 Dodge Caravan, and I loved that car because that was the very first brand new car I bought. I brought that car home at seven miles old. I love that car. I raised my daughter in that car. We drove that car all across the country. She played volleyball. It was very emotional for me. I was cleaning it out, and I was like, oh my God, this is the damn one I threw my phone at her. <laughs> because she told me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I threw the phone, I was like, you need to stop hanging out at your white friend's house. I ain't one of your little friends. <laughs> she got so bold and confident over there at Sally's house. I was like, no more. She's a bad influence. She calls her mom Karen. I don't like it over there, you know. But it was emotional and that van got me to where I needed to go. I love that van, but it didn't have a lot of bells and whistles. And when I got my new car, I had about a week and I had to get a rental car. And the rental car was like a brand new 2025. It, it was so new, it hasn't even, it's not even the year yet. It was that new. <laughs> and I got in that car at the place and I sat in that car for about 15 minutes. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot of time, but it is when you're trying to figure out how to put it in drive. You know what I mean? I'm like. <laughs> You ever have those moments where you rock and you're like, I'm a smart person, I can figure this out. We're gonna get out of here, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna. <laughs> I figured it out, it was a button. You just push a D button and then you go. I was like, that's smart engineering. But this car had a lot of bells and whistles. So I was driving, I had to drive about three hours to a gig. And anytime a gar car got too close to me, I'd be like, beep, beep, beep. There's a car close, be careful, be careful. And I was like, oh my God, okay, got it. If I tried to merge and the car didn't think it was enough space, it'd be like, beep, it's not safe to merge, beep, it's not safe to merge. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> and this one really got me. Every 45 minutes, a little notification came up on the car and it just said, consider taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. This car cares about me more than every man I've ever dated. <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna fuck this car. Oh no, that's done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you couldn't tell by that last joke, I'm single. Remember when I said I'd fuck a car? That was crazy. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> But even at my old, ripe age of 41, I'm still learning out really fun things about myself. I've always been a fan of MMA fighting and I actually got to go see my first MMA fight at a casino. Woo! That's a white girl who drives the F-150, I know it. I know it. They love it, they love it, they love. Oh, Anna, yep, Anna Brock, I'll do the talking. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish really quick. Uh, I'm always learning stuff about myself, so we went to this MMA fight, me and my homegirl, and I learned that when I was watching it, I was like, oh my God, I am extremely attracted to men who like to get punched in the face. <laughs> so I don't know if that makes me a problem or the ultimate feminist. <laughs> I don't know. You decide. I'm Khadija Cooper. Thank you so much. Yeah.